arose and disputed with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated men who said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they still dug the people and the elders and the scribes. And they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council and set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against him this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs which Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of God, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response of Yatsam. Your response, they are happy whose life is blameless. They are happy whose life is blameless. Though princes sit plotting against me, I ponder on your statutes. Your will is my delight. Your statutes are my counselors. Your response, they, they are happy whose life is blameless. I declared my ways and you answered. Teach me your statutes. Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Your response? They are happy whose life is blameless. Keep me from the way of error, and teach me your law. I have chosen the way of truth with your decrees before me. Your response? They are happy whose life is blameless. Acclamation.
as we are participating in this Eucharist. The liturgy of the Word of God invites all of us to live for the life that we are going to receive in everlasting life. Let us not live for the world or let us not to be a slave to the worldly life. Rather, let us look forward. Let our life be a life that after life that we are going to reward. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today is the liturgy of the Word of God, especially the first reading invites us to stand firm for the truth and to do good. Stephen stood for the good and for the truth. He stood for the reality that is Jesus is the Savior, the Messiah of the world. He proclaimed Jesus is risen from the dead. He did wonders and miracles. He was filled with wisdom and the Holy Spirit. People admired him. People were following him. Because of this, the chief priests and the other people wanted him to eliminate from that society. They wanted him to die. However, he was being punished and stoned to death. We read in the Acts of the Apostle because he spoke the truth and did the good. Yes, my dear friends, he showed, paved the way that if you do good and proclaim the truth, be sure that you need to lay down your life. We need to live selfless life. Yes, when we are ready and committed and dedicated to live for Christ and for His mission, we need to lay our life for that mission and for the Gospel. Today's Gospel reading invites all of us to have faith in Him, to look for the life after life. Let our life be an example so that we need to give to the people we are not living here permanently, rather temporarily. We need to make people to realize that the life that is given to us to save for eternally, to gain the life after that life, that is everlasting life. Jesus died for that, Jesus rose for that, and Jesus lives and encourages and gives the Holy Spirit for that life to endure. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let's pray then to all the people, especially those who are affected from this Corona COVID-19, who are sick, bedridden, hospitalized, and those who have died. Let's pray for them, that the God may heal them, touch them, and give them whatever necessary graces that they need for their life to continue. Let's also pray for one another. Let us love one another and live in harmony and peace. May God bless us. Amen.
May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis R. Pope and K. William R. Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants. Let's pray for all those people who are dying because of the coronavirus that the Lord may grant them eternal rest. Whom you call from them, this word to yourself, grant that they were united with your son in dead like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, now who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us when we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse and our patron, St. Joseph, with the blessed Apostle, St. Philomena, St. Sebastian, St. Anthony, and all the saints who are pleased in all the ages, we may merit to be called to the Lord, we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and the Through Christ our Lord. 